right. Jason Burgesses. What's up, man? Is that your name? Qu kind of. Kind of? What's yeah. your real name? Jason Burgess Conforti. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a yeah. mouthful. You know, only serial killers have three names. Are you I know, a serial right? killer? Not yet. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so you're still cool. Yeah. How long have you been working with us? I've been working here, I believe my one year is actually next month, so it's been 11 months. Cool. It's pretty crazy. You've been on the sales floor the whole time? Yeah. What is the most rewarding thing about being on the sales floor? I think like when customer has a problem and you kind of turn that problem into like a better like a better situation than it was before like Can you give me an example for that? like if a customer comes in with like a broken gun and they're all pissed off and like they're all angry and they're yelling at us even though it's not really our fault usually uh -huh. and then we kind of like take care of them we, sometimes we even like get them a better gun for like the same price you know kind of make them happy you know like throw them a, like a couple of shirts a couple of bags of BBs so you like making people happy I like making people happy yeah I don't like being yelled at Okay, <laughs> that's reasonable. Okay, so the sales floor, is it fun working up there? Yeah, it has its days. It has its days? It has its what days. What does that mean? Like, on Saturdays when it's super busy and there's like 50 customers waiting uh, and we, of... we get pretty stressed as well as the customer, so okay. it's pretty tense. But... Is there anything you want to tell the customer, like maybe, you know, don't stress us out or something? Anything that you want to like convey to the customer? We're working as hard as we can. I mean... We have like four or five guys working up front. We can only move so fast. We try to treat every customer like as we'd want to be treated. So we like to take the time with our customers. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so I mean, even though they're waiting, we try to feel like we try not to rush to our customers because we try to make the experience as enjoyable as possible. Gotcha. All right, let's shift gears a little bit. Airsoft, how long have you been playing? Three years. Three years? Three years, three years seriously. Do you mostly play CQB or outdoor? I'm more of a field guy. Um, I, like, I'm usually doing all, like the, the Lion Claw series, usually doing a lot of outdoor ops. So, uh, so uh, Red Storm's coming up. Red Storm is coming up. Do you want to play in that game? I'm so excited. I, I didn't even told you if you're going yet. I'll, I'll go into regardless if I was going for free or not, so <laughs> I'm just kind of hoping. Gotcha. Okay, well hopefully we'll get to send you to that. Yeah, I'm hoping That's... too. Pretty poor. Yeah, we're just trying to get to know the guys behind the counter. Yep. Anything else you want to add before we close out? Uh, come to the store. It's a lot of fun. Oh, hey, let's talk about the store. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about the store right now. It's pretty it's, awesome right now. It's a lot bigger than it used to be. Yeah. How, you worked there when it was small, right? When I was working there, when I first started working there, it was probably, it felt like probably 200 square feet. It felt like, like my room in my apartment. It was, it felt pretty small. And now, on Saturdays when it's really busy and it's really busy, you can actually breathe and like you can actually walk around. You're not bumping into customers all the time. Um, get the couches. The couches are really comfortable for the for the for the parents and stuff. Parents love the couches. Now it wasn't ever 200 square. Well, it was back. Then. I'm saying it's just what it felt like. Because of all the cases. Yeah, the cases were kind of claustrophobic. But now everything's all spread out. You guys got plenty of room to stretch around. Yep. How has that changed the shopping experience? It's made it more relaxed, in my opinion, because I, I feel like when you're super claustrophobic, you're trying to get out of there because mm -hmm. you're feeling kind of like irritable. How's it changed for you as a salesman? Is it a lot easier for you? It's a lot more relaxing, uh -huh. I'd say. Like, I think the whole point is so like the customers and we don't feel rushed because when everyone's feeling rushed, usually customers get really angry and then we get upset and then, like, not a good thing. And it's just nothing good that comes out of it. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's enough. I'm not gonna take any more of your time. Thanks, Jason. Cool. Airsoft is an enjoyable hobby, but your guns can be dangerous if mishandled. Please use your airsoft guns responsibly, don't take them out in public, and don't take them to your school. Please use your airsoft guns responsibly. Do not shoot at any unsuspecting people or animals. Don't ever look down the barrel of your airsoft gun, and keep your finger off the trigger unless you're ready to fire. Treat your airsoft guns like they're real firearms. Please take the proper safety precautions when using your airsoft guns. Always wear eye protection when firing your guns. Airsoft is fun, but it's not worth losing an eye. Velcro. You say it's silent Velcro like in the movie Love Actually. You saw that? Make a lot of money. Also, it's probably good for people who can't use zippers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, check, check. One, two, three. Unable. Yeah, yeah hopefully this mic system works. Yeah. We'll see. 
What ifs? All right, you know what you want to say? Yeah, more or less. Okay. <coughs> Hi, GI TV. Bob the Axe Man, Hildebrand here. Oh, I just realized something. Uh, we're going to be chroma keying. You can't wear green. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tim. Today's a day show with a green screen. Let's get ready. We're good? Oh, wait. We're not. Okay.